Hello. Today's prayer is the prayer of protection. And the scripture that I'm using is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, where it says, But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. There's so much craziness going out in the world that we all need God's protection. Not just his protection, but his supernatural protection. So let us pray for it right now. Father God, I invite the Holy Spirit in this prayer. I ask that you, Holy Spirit, would be with this person that is watching this video. Put your spirit of protection around them. I hedge them up with angels and I pray that you keep them safe. Keep them safe from the enemy, which is the devil. Keep them safe from people that mean them no good. Keep them safe from situations that could harm them or bring them a, a horrible fall. Keep them safe from anything that would endanger their body, their mind, or their spirit. Hedge them up from the time they go to sleep to when they wake up to when they travel, walk, do whatever they have to do in their home, out of their home, anywhere. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hey, welcome back. We're going to pray? Yes, we're going to pray. We are going to pray against that demonic spirit of depression that comes to steal, kill, and destroy your peace your love and your grace. We have no time for it, so let's start. Father God, we just lift this day up to you. We ask for the Holy Spirit to come in us, fill us with your love, your peace, your everlasting joy. And we send that spirit of depression that has been harassing us, oppressing us, making us feel like we can't even get out of bed or we can't even do anything right. We send that spirit back to the pit of hell. Infuse us, Holy Spirit, with your joy, with your marvelous light, with your love, with your mercy and your grace. Give us your eyes to see victory before it even comes. Give us your heart to feel gladness and rejuvenation. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Don't stop. We got to dance. Ow! I will dance like David dance. Woo! Ha! 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 This is a prayer for anyone who is going through intense anxiety, fear, or other emotional torment. Father God, I am out of sorts. My emotions right now are running havoc with me. They have control of me and I don't have control of them. In John 14, 1, you said that we are not to be troubled by anxiety or anything, but to believe in you. So right now, I ask the Holy Spirit to come in me, to dwell in me, to give me that peace, that calm, that clarity that I need emotionally, physically, mentally. Just dwell in me right now in Jesus' mighty name and give me an excellent day. Amen. Father God, I come to you asking you to remove that harassing spirit off of me, that spirit that comes to kill, steal, and destroy my dreams, my life, my destiny. Lord, I am doing everything I need to do to press into you, and that spirit just keeps harassing me, tormenting me, torturing me, trying to take me off my path, to distract me, to hinder me, to stop me in my tracks. I ask for you now to shut it down. Shut down those negative spirits that come against me against the destiny that you created me for in Jesus mighty name give me that spirit of courage and power and might Lord let me just trample over that harassing spirit that keeps bothering me keeps provoking me keeps trying to bully me Lord give me the strength give me the power give me the ability to squash it and send it back to the pit of hell in Jesus mighty name amen dear father God I know 
that I live in a world dominated by evil. But I also know that when I walk with you, evil cannot touch me. That if I put on my armor every day, I am fortified, I am built up, and I am strengthened. So this day, I choose to walk with you, to put on my spiritual armor. I put on my breastplate of righteousness, my shoes of the gospel of peace. I take up my helmet of salvation. I take up my shield of faith to quench fiery darts that comes from the enemy against me. And I take up that sword, which is your living word. It is the Bible. And I wield it as best as I can against the enemy. I also hedge myself up with angels for protection. I wrap myself with your supernatural power and your supernatural favor with all people. I thank you, Father God, for protecting me, for providing me with opportunities, for giving me provisions in every area in my life, and for exceedingly abundant blessings that amaze me and humble me every day. Thank you, God, for giving me eyes to see and ears to hear in the spirit and for always giving me advance warnings of my enemies approaching so that I'm always ready and prepared. And most importantly, thank you for always walking with me, always keeping me safe from harm's way, and always loving me like nobody's business. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.